scariest phrases a person can ever hear, brain tumor. But as we find out from Spectrum Health Medical Group in this week's Medical Moment, not every brain tumor diagnosis has the same outcome. So you've got a headache, maybe some nausea near a computer. Well, you've probably plugged the symptoms in and gotten the dreaded brain tumor. Uh, most people don't know, so they get scared and they jump on the internet and places like WebMD and other places, and a little bit of knowledge is always dangerous, so uh, they, they run into trouble sometimes and get scared. Good news is, although headache and nausea are symptoms of a brain tumor, most people don't actually have one. Some people present with stroke-like symptoms like weakness, numbness, and tingling. I've had people present because uh, their loved one was nice all of a sudden. They're grumpy and mean their whole life, and now they started acting strange, and so it's a personality change for them. About 14,000 people in the United States will die from a brain tumor this year, but that doesn't mean that every diagnosis will end that way. Unfortunately, the most common tumors we see are the metastatic brain tumors. That makes up almost 50% of brain tumors. And that really depends on what the patient type of cancer they have and other, how sick that patient is from their cancer. I have patients with metastatic brain tumors that live five years. I have patients that live four months. And not every tumor is cancerous. That is correct. That is correct. There are other things we see. There are benign cysts and cancer-like syndromes, which are inclusions and things like that that are developmental. If your doctor feels that a tumor is a possibility, they'll do a neurological exam, things like CT scans and MRIs, and if indeed a tumor is found, that's when the entire Spectrum Health brain and spine tumor team will go to work looking for a cure. And that range from the surgeon and the medical team to other things like rehab doctors, uh, speech and language therapists, social workers. So we really, we want to address all the aspects of the patient um, and not just address their tumor because the tumor is just part of the process. And that's really the difference of what we're doing here at Spectrum versus what other people in the community have done for the last years. If you want to catch up on all of our medical moments, just go to fox17online.com. In our next medical moment with Spectrum, we'll be talking about treatment options, surgeries, things like that. All right.